Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're in the home of a woman we are going to call Sarah and we're gonna meet her service dog first. This is Riley. Riley is a sweetheart and he is a lover. <laughs> he loved to give me kisses every time I'd come. So he was, he was super fun, very playful. But um, let me tell you a little bit more about Sarah. And if you're wondering where I got that name, um, because it's not her real name, my inspiration is sitting right on top of this stovetop. That Sarah Lee bread. <laughs> so I, sometimes I just have to pull names from wherever. But anyway, as um, we're looking around her kitchen, which is where we're going to start at in this home. Um, and then next week we're gonna work on her scrapbook room. But um, Sarah has PTSD and that's all I was told um, by her friend, Kristen, who contacted me to um, see if I could help her. Um, and I didn't find out until the very last day that I was working there, um, the reason for the PTSD because it's not like I just go in there and ask them everything about their life story and all that. But by the final day that I was there, we'd gotten to know each other a little better. And I just asked her if there was anything that she felt like might be helpful for my viewers to know about her and her story. So let me just give you a quick rundown of what I'll be doing in the kitchen and then I will tell you a bit more of her story so we're gonna start off with some oven cleaner of course just to get that working and then I'm going to use about um, a fourth a cup of vinegar in some water stick that in the microwave for about four to five minutes just to let that steam loosen up any dirt in there so it's easier to clean um, and then I also just wanted to show you what I'm watching <laughs> casually this is how I watch YouTube videos but um, it's Mira and this was actually the week before I even met her so um, just kind of trying to get caught up on all her videos before I met her the next week so now that um, steam has done its job use a little mr. clean clean freak so while I scrub down the rest of this microwave um, I'll tell you and the rest of Sarah's story. So again, this was not at all what I expected. So she proceeded to tell me that when she was a teenager, she was kidnapped and held captive for about a year um, and suffered abuse by her captor and then woke up in the hospital one day, doesn't even remember how she got there, but apparently she was, um, told that she was just found there at the hospital, just dropped off and was almost dead. So they nursed her back to health and yeah, she's basically lucky to be alive. It's an incredible story. I, I can't even wrap my brain around it. Um, she even had the book, A Stolen Life by J.C. Lee Dugard in her craft room um, or scrapbook room, whatever you want to call it, um, which is, if you've never read that book, it's about a girl who was held captive. Um, I don't even remember how long, but it was for quite a while. And so I'm sure she gets strength from stories like that of people who have gone on to live a productive life after something that horrific. And then, of course, there's Elizabeth Smart as well, which is famously a Utah case here where we live. And she has done amazing things with her life after um, her whole traumatic ordeal and being held captive for nine months. So anyway, just stuff that I like cannot even imagine going through. And yet some people do. And it's just crazy. So of course I don't want my videos to all just be a sad story, um, but it's a pretty remarkable story and one that I hope gives people some hope that have PTSD and that, you know, there's, there's life after these traumatic events and there is help for it. She goes to therapy and gets help for that. But um, anyway, she is, I guess, let's talk about some of the goals that we had for her in this house because she also, on top of the PTSD, has lupus. 
which is just an awful, awful autoimmune disease that has many symptoms. In fact, you'll hear me talking with her about it um, when I'm cleaning the oven, and she'll describe some of the symptoms that she has. But um, one of the things that she gets that makes things really difficult for her is um, she gets tremors. And so she can't really get up on a stool or reach high shelves to get items down because of those tremors. So everything needs to be on a lower shelf or near the front of a shelf in order for her to be able to um, reach it. So I, I kind of reorganize some of these items in her kitchen to be able to um, reach them a little better. So this is a home that I used a lot of the Super Thanks donations and PayPal donations that have been given to me to purchase some things to make it a little bit uh, easier for her to access some of her kitchen items. So I'll show you some of those things a little bit later, um, but I'll stop talking for a little bit because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna talk through this whole thing and talk over the cleaning sounds. Okay, it's that time of the video that I'm going to ask you all to subscribe and like, but only if you have worn pants in the last year. So skirt wearers, I'm sorry, you can't subscribe or like. Everybody else, you must, you must, it is a rule. So go hit that subscribe button and like, and then also hit the bell if you wanna be notified of when I put out new videos. Thanks guys. So a little barkeeper's friend, of course. We love barkeeper's friend. Also coming up later in this video is going to be a lot of organization of drawers. So some up close organization. And uh, Sarah is a pampered chef and Tupperware consultant, distributor, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, she sells it. And um, so she's got a lot of beautiful kitchen gadgets and, and it, it, very colorful. It was so much fun to organize. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, I think you're really gonna like the organization of these drawers that I do later. Oh, and the last couple videos, I've been trying to mention some of the uh, cleaning products and items I use to clean with, uh, which I haven't really done much of on this one. And that's because I'm using a bit more random things than I usually do, um, just because I had some things given to me by my friend Tisha that um, I just thought I'd use up <laughs> while I had them. So um, I don't normally use some of these things that I that you see me using in this video. Like I think it was just like a scotch bright um, scouring pad and um, you know just a random brush. I think it was from Ikea. I don't know. But usually I use like a Libman scrub brush, um, the generic scrub daddy or still scour daddy. Um, and then of course I always have my microfiber cloths. Um, so, but any of the products that I use and that 
the ones that I normally use are in the description of the video. So if you're interested in any of those, you can check out those links. And here is the before and after of that sink. Beautiful. So right here you'll see me sprinkle something on there and that's just baking soda and I just use that when I need something that's got a little bit more of a scrubbiness to it <laughs> to get up some of the stains on the stovetop but in hindsight I probably should have just gone straight to barkeeper's friend I think that would have just taken care of this even without the clean freak but hindsight's 2020. So be sad with me <laughs> to know that this, um, these two stains here, uh, they're really actually warped. And so it was kind of rusted and anyway, it, it, it doesn't come up. <laughs> but I, I cleaned it a little bit. Also, as I'm watching this back, I'm thinking, why am I not wearing gloves? <laughs> Because I usually do and I seriously don't know why I'm not wearing gloves right here because I know it's not like the harshest chemicals that I'm using but it dries out my hands a lot so um, yeah I usually do I don't know I guess I was just too excited to clean that I just went ahead without gloves but I do later in the video I promise when I'm using the oven cleaner and stuff. So this was kind of the same situation as underneath the burners where it was kind of rusted and stained and just would not come off. So my plan was to go grab new, um, whatever these are called, the burner. Okay, I got to stop and figure out what these are called. <laughs> I'm trying not to edit as much, so I just left that in there, but I did go and look it up and they are called burner drip pans. <laughs> so anyway, I was gonna go get new burner drip pans and completely forgot, like the idiot I am. Just kidding, I'm, I'm trying to be nicer to myself. Like the human that I am. <laughs> I forgot to pick up new um, drip pans when I picked up the other items that I needed to bring back the next day. So yeah, they just got left like this and that's okay. At least they're a little bit cleaner. Because it has been a while since I've mentioned this and I've had quite a few new subscribers since then, um, I just wanted to mention another channel called Colleen Cleans. There it is on the screen and I will put it in the link of my video because it can be a little tricky to find. Sometimes it comes up as colon cleanse. <laughs> but anyway, Colleen is a wonderful person from the Netherlands who also does free cleanings. And she has the most soothing voice you can ever imagine. So go check her out. If she hits 5,000 subscribers before Christmas, she will clean in a Santa suit. So go check her out. She's wonderful.
Oh, and here comes that conversation about the lupus that I mentioned. <laughs> Do you get a nap every day? Yeah. 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 A couple. So good. Good. <laughs> so I, yeah. I mean, I guess not good if it's not like what you want to do. Some, yeah. Sometimes you're just forced to, but yeah. Yeah. So do you have like health issues that cause you to? Um, yeah. I was just diagnosed with lupus in July. Oh, man. So that's a rough one because I know those flare ups are yeah. pretty horrible. So, like, are you. Like in a flare up, like I don't know exactly how this works because I know there's a lot of different types of symptoms that Yeah, they just they just started me on a medication that um uh helps control my symptoms pretty well. Yeah. Um but the exhaustion just seems to uh keep going no matter like what medication they give me. So yeah. oh, darn it. Yeah, do you like I, I know um someone who has it that um will become paralyzed for periods of time is that that is lupus right am i thinking of the right yeah okay um, like so that can get, happen i get tremors yeah um pretty severe um they're pretty yeah they're pretty debilitating so um but yeah i haven't i haven't experienced the paralysis yet yeah that's a brutal one sorry so it's like, have you known something has been wrong for a while um, and they just yeah. haven't been able to figure it out until recently? Yeah, it's been about five years of um, going back and forth to doctors. And, yeah. So um, mm. I finally had one that would test for autoimmune and found it. So well, glad you have an answer at least. So yeah. know how to how to treat it. Although, is there even much they can do? Um, it's... Um, it's, uh, there's no cure, no. so all they can do is really just treat symptoms. Well, yes, you take a nap whenever you need to. <laughs> so yeah, I always like to have you guys hear that in their own words rather than me trying to relay all that so um, and I did ask for her permission to leave that conversation in there and she said that was totally fine but isn't she so sweet and soft-spoken she was oh my gosh such a sweetheart I love her Oh, and you see me using one of my very favorite tools here. <laughs> this is my handy dandy scraper. I love it. And the link that I have for this actually comes with either two or three different scrapers. Because um, I use the one that's bigger than this all the time. I love it. Oh yeah, so we never got back to some of the other goals that we had for this kitchen to make it easier for her to use it and access things. So, um, I mean, she loves to cook, so just wanted to create a clean space for her, which is why I wanted to get this oven all cleaned out for her to be able to use. Um, but she wants to be able to host Pampered Chef and Tupperware parties at her house. And so just creating a clean space for her was important and also giving her a place that she can do her crafting. Wait till you see her craft room. It's crazy. She's got so many different types of crafts that she does and it's it was so much fun. <laughs> so much fun to organize. So I can't wait to show that to you next week. Okay, here are the before and afters of that oven, stove, microwave area. I debated whether or not to leave this part in because it was hard to get a good angle on this. And so you see just a lot of my back. <laughs> and I'm also having a conversation with the friend that um, that told me about 
Sarah and her situation. And so there's a lot of just uh, sped up talking going on in the background. And I know that's kind of annoying to some people to hear. They hate that. <laughs> I actually think it's kind of fun to hear the little chipmunk voices. But um, anyway, I just I decided to keep it in, but just to really speed it up just so you could kind of get a quick overview of what I do here in this corner. And I may get the question of, well, why don't you just add some music to these parts? Um, and I used to, but the overwhelming majority of people um, have told me that they prefer no music. So, which was actually a relief because you have no idea how hard it is to find music that goes with these videos and um, is pleasing to everyone. And anyway, it was just really hard to pick out music. So I stopped adding it. <laughs> I suppose I could sing for you and that could be your added music. <laughs> Just kidding. I think a lot of you would be like, uh, please stop. I will pay you to stop <laughs> because I don't have a great singing voice. I think it's my vocal fry. And I know that we've gotten some great music from people with vocal fry, but it's not the right kind of vocal fry that I have. <laughs> so you're welcome. I won't sing for you. I think I rearranged these things about a thousand times before I felt like it looked okay. <laughs> and I had to keep, you know, all of this stuff out on the counter because it needed to be reachable. And plus you're not gonna put like a coffee maker in a cabinet or something. So anyway, I had to keep them all out. Um, and so I just did the best I could arranging it so that it looked okay. But um, yeah, because I actually prefer not a lot of things on the countertop, but there's, first of all, not a lot of counter space here. And um, yeah, she had to have it accessible to where she could reach it. So I just made it look the best I could. <laughs> This was definitely one of the easier fridges I have ever had to clean um, as far as taking apart because there wasn't a whole lot of shelves and drawers and all that that I had to figure out how to put back together. So um, just, yeah, a couple drawers. And I do take out this bottom shelf a little bit later to clean under it, but so much easier to put back together than a lot of the fridges I've cleaned. I have to laugh sometimes when I'm editing these videos and my boys walk in and I'm like, hey, you want to watch me clean a fridge? You want to watch me do some dishes? <laughs> They're like, um, no. And so sometimes it just makes me think it is funny that there are a certain group of people out there like me that like to watch this kind of thing. It's just satisfying. It just, I don't know, it, it's kind of a, it just feels good <laughs> to see something be cleaned. 
but they don't get it. The other types of videos that I love to watch that some of you will be totally grossed out by and others of you will be like, oh yeah, I get that. I watch those too. But I love to watch like pimple popping videos. Um, the more pus, the better. <laughs> and um, getting ears cleaned out. Um, let's see. Oh, one of my very favorites is uh, they're called mango worms, but mango worms in dogs that um, they squeeze out. And it is like the most satisfying thing ever. I love it. <laughs> I know it's gross, but it just, it relaxes me. I love them. Okay, here's your clean fridge. Now to put all the stuff back in it. So she had been using her cricket out here on her table to create a lot of fun crafts and vinyl things and whatever, but um, we moved it back to her craft room because the next day, I'm well, sorry, not the next day, a couple days after this, um, I come back to do her craft room and we're going to create a space in there that she can actually do that where it was meant to be done, but it was very... Um, inaccessible so we got that put back together for her so that she could actually use that in her craft room and not on her kitchen table <laughs> okay so this is just cleaning out her drawers this is super satisfying to me to watch this all be put back together and normally I would have pulled these drawers out just to dump out all those crumbs and stuff but I could not figure out how to get these drawers out I tried a few different times <laughs> if you'll see me struggle with the middle one there um a little bit later but um yeah i couldn't figure it out so i just cleaned it as is Ah, oh, doesn't that look so much better? Here comes my attempt at taking the drawer out. <laughs> yeah, nope, not gonna come. <laughs>
So th it was getting kind of late in the evening. This was probably 5.30 or 6. So um, I was kind of wrapping it up for the day. And um, you may have noticed a lot of duplicate items in some of these drawers. So what I did was um, left everything out for her to go through and get rid of duplicate items and things like that so they fit in the drawer a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I left things on the first day and um, yeah, came back the next day and put it all back in the drawer in a little bit organized manner. So I put in this overhead time-lapse view of everything I just did, cleaning out those drawers, and just so you can kind of see the amount of stuff that I left out on the counter for her to go through. Um, and you'll be pleased to know that a lot of the stuff that she got rid of, like the duplicate items, went to um, a victim of domestic abuse. Um, and somebody that had moved out and was in need of a lot of different things. And so she donated a whole bunch of stuff to her. Okay, here's day two. So I went and grabbed a few items to help me organize this kitchen a little bit better and make things more accessible for her. So one of those things was a shelf to go over her uh, washer and dryer so that we can move down her laundry items to make them a little bit easier for her to get to. Um, but as I was uh, putting this shelf up or about to put it up, I realized she went to lay down for a nap. So I didn't want to be super loud. So I stopped what I was doing there and decided to organize the drawers. So here comes that magical organizing I was talking about. So a little before and after of that drawer. And now the next one. And a before and after of that drawer. And you'll notice the drawer organizers that I used in this um, and the little basket there that I put on top to create a little more space. Those were some items that I uh, purchased with the Super Thanks donations. And here's that bottom drawer again. I did add a few more things. So now back to putting up that shelf, which is also another item that I use that the donation money to purchase so thank you guys um and yeah so put this shelf up and I, i'm pretty handy but i did not have all the items that i needed with me that day like a level <laughs> but fortunately this was pretty easy because it went right under that um the plug-in so it was pretty easy to get it level and worked out fine. So don't worry about it, guys. It, it worked out. It wasn't that dirty behind there, but may as well sweep and mop it while I had that washer pulled out. So by installing this shelf, we also freed up some of the space in the cupboards that these things were in. So um, I used those bottom shelves to put some items that were kind of cluttering up space elsewhere. So here's where you get to see a lot of the cool Pampered Chef and 
Tupperware items she has. And it kind of made me want to start over with my um, kitchen items because these were so colorful and beautiful. And yeah, I loved it. So this was super fun for me to organize. So I'm asking her if I can move these um, water bottles uh, to the top of the fridge uh, because I bought a, well, a couple Lazy Susans. That's what I call them anyway. I'm assuming that's what they're called all over the world. I don't know. If you guys have a different name for it, let me know. But, or turntable, I don't know. Anyway, I put that on top of the fridge um, so that she could get to it um, pretty easily still by just turning it to grab what she needed. But I totally forgot to show you video of what I did with that on top of the fridge. I guess it'll be in the after footage at the end. But um, anyway, those Lazy Susans are another item that I purchased with a donation. So I just want you guys to know how grateful I am for those and that they are going to great use and helping these homeowners to be able to um, yeah, use their space a little bit more efficiently. So I appreciate that. This was a fun little matching game to figure out what lids go to what bowls, <laughs> but I figured it out. I loved that she had these little peg things that um, I could organize those lids vertically because you know how much I love vertical organizing. So it was perfect for something like that. Yeah, those little peg things were also really useful for this as well. Okay, here's the after of that rack of beautiful items. <laughs> and then the before and afters of the kitchen.
And just so you know, we did the best we could with this area, but she also needed a lot of those boxes and things still there for her business to mail stuff out in. Okay, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you did want to leave a super thanks or take that extra step to go to uh, my PayPal uh, link uh, and leave a donation, just know that those will go to help the homeowners. And also, if you are interested in becoming a member on my channel, there is that join button right below the videos. And uh, I post an extra video each week, um, either that or I'll do like a members only live and you also get priority reply to comments. So go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week and I'll yes. see you next week when we're working on the scrapbook room.